हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट द इनवेरियंस ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस नो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड कीप इन माइंड द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड इनवेरियंस स्टूडेंट्स इनवेरियंस मीन्स इफ़ यू सब्सटीट्यूट सम सॉर्ट ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन योर ओरिजिनल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन देन इट्स फॉर्म रिमेन्स अनचेंज okay for example here we are given a lie group now students if you don't know that what is a what is the meaning of lie group or what are its exams then students you can check it in my previous videos where have where i have explained it in detail now students uh we are given a lie group and we will see and we will check that this uh, ode is invariant under this lie group of transformations now students uh, to check it out first of all you have to write your differential equation in this form like dy bar is divided by dx bar means you are applying the transformation on your ordinary differential equation and that is equal to x bar y bar cube means you have to apply x bar and y bar on both sides now students you know the value of y bar is equals to d into e raised to power minus epsilon y is divided by d and the value of x bar you know it is equal to e raised to power epsilon x in the similar way you can substitute this transformation on in the right hand side uh, and that are x bar that is equal to e raised to power epsilon x and y bar cube means e to power minus epsilon y cube now students you know if you take its differential then definitely e raised to power minus epsilon is some number so it is a constant so you can uh, take it out and you will get e raised to power minus epsilon and the differential of y that is dy and in the similar way you can plug out e raised to power epsilon common and similarly you can get dx and that is equal to e raised to power epsilon x and e raised to power minus 3 epsilon y cube now students uh you you know that uh if i take uh e raised to power epsilon in the numerator then i will get e raised to power minus 2 epsilon dy by dx and similarly uh these two exponents um if we combine both of them then we will get e raised to power epsilon minus 3 epsilon into xy cube now you will get e raised to power minus 2 epsilon dy by dx and that is equal to e raised to power minus 2 epsilon x y cube now students you can cancel them with each other and then you will get dy by dx is equal to x y x y cube now students you easily see that if i apply the lie group of transformations on our original differential equation then after a complete procedure we see that we get the original differential equation so we can see uh, we can say that the original differential equation or original ordinary differential equation is invariant under the given lie group and this is your desired result okay student this is all about this lecture thank you so much